All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make a wind sock. Um, we are going to do that in science today. So each of you should have gotten a piece of construction paper in materials that you picked up. Um, and your first step will be to decorate the outside of your wind sock, wind sock however you would like. The outside of your wind sock is the side that doesn't have the folded flap. So it's no folded flap. This is the inside, outside. So when you're done decorating, you're gonna take your uh, cray paper, and you're going to glue eight pieces to the bottom of your wind sock. You'll want to use glue stick to glue them on. So there's one. Two. You can see I'm just sticking them to the bottom. And I'm leaving a little space in between each of them. Six. Seven. And eight. So once you have your eight, uh, pieces of cray paper glued on, then you're going to roll your wind sock so that it makes like a cylinder shape like this. And with the helps of mom and dad or an adult, you're going to tape where your two ends meet. So I'm going to tape right there. And this is why it helps to have mom and dad. You maybe will have to hold it and then mom and dad can get the tape and tape it. Because I'm trying to hold mine and pull my tape. So I'm having a little trouble with the tape dispenser right now. Another trick is if mom and dad have to do something else while you're trying to make it, they could have the tape ripped and stuck to like the end of a table um, so that you could easily pull the tape. Um, another good tip, don't tape over the hole. We're going to need those holes to put some string in. My tape almost went over my holes. So I'm going to just adjust my ends. Now I'm cooking. <laughs> so you can see I've got mine started to tape. So I'll finish taping mine. All right, there we go. So mine's all taped together. So once it's done, it'll look like this. The last step we're gonna do is tie um, some string in. So you got two pieces of string, and I am gonna stick, so the holes, I'm gonna go from diagonal across. I think it'll hold it better. So I'm gonna stick the string in one hole, and then I'm gonna go across and stick it in the hole that's kind of diagonal from it. So I went through this hole, and then this hole was kind of diagonal from it. And I'm gonna pull it through so that I have string on both ends. And I'm gonna tie just 
a knot in it. And then you have another string, and so I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go through the other holes, going across. And then with this string, I'm gonna tie it to the one I already have knotted. So I'm gonna go like that. And there we go. So I'm gonna knot it with that other one. And I'm gonna give it an extra not here at the top to make sure it really holds like so there we go so that's what the inside looks like they kind of crisscross the string and then you have your wind sock you can take it outside and see if the wind is really blowing today or not i hope you had fun making a wind sock